Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Sam and Max Season 3, The Devil's Toy Box, Episode 4. Let us continue the game. Now where did I leave that Heisenberg Compensator? Where did I leave the Heisenberg Compensator? <laughs> so we have Mama Bosco here, we've found her. We know mm -hmm. she made the mm -hmm. cloning Those equipment. Those sure don't leave anything to the imagination, do they? But I don't think she's really involved. So let's interrogate her, and then we'll see if we can read a ghost's mind. Hey, Dr. Mama Bosco, can we ask you a few questions? Can it wait? I'm very busy trying to figure out where all these Sams came from. It'll only take a minute. Fine. What do you know about Bosco? I'm sure Bosco will be okay. Yeah, a Las Vegas wedding will be just the thing to center his restless spirit. I wish that were true, but I just know this will all end in tears. And lawsuits. And shirtless raids by the police. Let's talk about your clone takes later. Let's ask about you. What are you doing? Same as you two. I'm trying to find out who's behind all these clones. Want to help with the clones? Got any ideas on how to stop the clones? Um, no. Not really. Max and I were taking a closer look at those underground cloning tanks. Yes. And they've got Bosco tech written all over them. That's horrible. Someone must have snuck into my lab and stolen all my cloning equipment. Hmm. Really, I don't believe you. Who do you think broke into your lab to steal all your cloning equipment? Well, whoever wanted an army of Sam clones, obviously. Well, duh, Sam. Alright, that doesn't work. Let's try reading her mind with the mind reading cards angle up this way mama bosco's mind if anyone ever finds out i was hired to build those clone tanks i'm done for aha we do have something let's look at our future so we know what's going to happen there Guess we could do ventriloquism for the fun of it. Hey Sam, when are you gonna finally screw up the courage to ask me out for a date, you foxy piece of man meat? I didn't. Oh, I get it. Very funny, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and if only I had two of these, so the conversation could keep going. Alright, so let's talk to her now. Mama B? Yes? We got some new info. Who hired you? Give it up, Mama Bosco. We know someone paid you to build those cloning tanks. Who was it? Stinky? Paperweight? Professor Plum? I... I... I don't know! All I know is, a few months ago, an anonymous donor wired me a bajillion bucks in exchange for a few hundred of my experimental cloning tanks. I knew it was shady, but times are tough for a single dead mother with a money hemorrhaging research lab. So I took the gig and looked the other way. Another victory for unregulated capitalism! <laughs> Who's the clone master? This anonymous donor. Anything you can tell us about him? Turn offs, turn ons, the last four digits of his social security number? We only spoke over the phone. He had a creepy, high pitched voice. Sam, you don't think it could be the soda? Don't even think it, little buddy. <laughs> Better not be the soda poppers. But not again. Not after it being them for season one and season two, pretty much. Anything else you can remember about the mastermind who bought all those clone tanks? Aside from the squeaky voice, no. Oh, and he paid me in cash. Really old cash. Old cash. Interesting. Now can you help? Now that we've established that the clones came out of your machines, is there any way we can shut them down? Well, there should be a biometric override built into all of my clone control centers, but... Oh, I hate the sound of your butts. But my handprint is the only one that can activate the override. But without a body, you don't have handprints. Or the right to vote! I've got an idea. I have no idea what this idea is going to be, so let's see what it is. About that override. Mm-hmm. If we could clone a body for you, could you activate the biometric control? 
That's... Uh, bug-loving insane? Absolutely brilliant! Of course, it'll have to be a perfect clone with 100% of my DNA. No problem. Um, got any lying around? Only this. As far as I know, this is the only remaining sample of my DNA in the world. And even this is only 99% complete. You'll either have to find some more or get some DNA from one of my family members so I can do a splice job. No problem. Consider yourself cloned. So, Bosco's DNA? Say, would some of your son's DNA work to fill in the gaps in your DNA sample? Sure. Good luck finding any, though. Say, would some of your son's DNA work to fill in the gaps in your DNA sample? Sure. Good luck finding any, though. Why did I have to click on that twice to get it to go gray? This whole division thing just doesn't work. Great. Even if you are going to do a dialogue wheel like this, I think you need to stick to probably four, and most maybe six, if you really want to go crazy, and then if you, in the, the rare occasion, need more than six answers, you have one that splits off. Well, you just ride around it. Really? So all we have to do is plunk your DNA sample into your clone cooker and bingo bango, brand new Dr. Mama Bosco body, right? No. First you have to find some more Bosco DNA to fill in the gaps in the sample. The whole, like, Paragon and I don't even remember what the other one was called. It was Paragon and Villain or something. Good guy, bad guy responses for every question concept that was around when this game came out really kind of just fl flickered out as a concept it doesn't work that well people want to be able to choose their own choices in conversations without having to worry about it affecting the ending of a game uh, now point click adventure game shouldn't have any of those systems and it should be always you can click on everything and should click on everything to have a full experience so, Bosco's letter, let's give it to Mama Bosco. One of two things I are gonna get happen. Body soon. Hey, Dr. Mama, we got some mail from baby Bosco. Really? Hold it up for me so I can read it. Mm. Mm. $20,000? Roscoe Bosco, what sort of hustle have you gotten yourself into? Hey, this letter's practically swimming in Bosco's saliva. Could it be used to fill out your missing DNA? That might work. Yeah, sure, give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I love it when scientists say that! So... This DNA compared to this DNA... I think it works. So I don't think there's anything else we really need to do here. As far as that point but we have to put the DNA in this device, clone cooking controls, I think. Barrels, curious dispenser, microwave. The light zone is for the loading and unloading Immensive of the turbine. Of <laughs> Property of Hoover Dam. Hmm. The ghost of J. Edgar Hoover is raising an unholy army of sexually provocative Sam clones! Good theory. Wrong Hoover. So... Stas display. Stas display. I don't think we can just like throw the DNA in this. From what Dr. Mama told me, I think we're supposed to put the DNA in that machine over there. Yeah. Ew. Guess we've got some tentacle pruning to do. So yeah, that doesn't help. What I think we need to do is let's just go ahead and teleport to Sal's job and see if anything's changed there. 
Even though they're on a toy stealing mission that'll no doubt bring about the end of the world, it makes me proud to see my clones going about their labor so diligently. Sam? Whoops! <laughs> So the clone is hugging a doll of it. It's gazingly adored at the Statue of Liberty. But old Emma Lazarus never thought the huddled masses yearning to breathe through would turn out to be an army of gorgeous Sam clones yearning to steal psychic toys. I bet old Emma Lazarus... Nope, didn't mean to click on that twice. Run willy-nilly down the streets. Chat with Sal. And... Chat with Bluster Blaster. Let's use the ventral equation with the warehouse. Hey, you stupid nuts! I'm still in here with all my toys! 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 So then. Let's try this with Sal. We haven't seen any mole men, except for Harry Molman. I'm not giving this away. It's my key to finding the giggling realm of skittering ingestion. Let's look at it again. Whee! See, this menu is a little not quite there because it's all kind of squished to the middle of the screen and so if I go over the too far this way I can't click on this. It's a page from an illuminated manuscript detailing an incident with something called the destroyer. Let's see, flash a light, blah blah blah, giggling realm of skittering ingestion, giggling and beset by visions of insects, destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension, leader eaten by a beast. Hmm. So, flash of light could be this one. Hey, BB. I will annihilate you with kindness! Hmm. See you, Buster. I have become death! Giggling and then insects. What was it again? Let's see. Flash of light, blah blah blah. Giggling realm of skittering ingestion. Giggling and beset by visions of insects. Destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension. Leader eaten by a beast. Leader eaten by a beast. Can we just not, like, shoot these guys? Even aside from the queasy ethical quandary, shooting one of my clones would just alert the others. Let's chat with Sal. Hey, Sal. What's up, guys? Ah, uh, do, do you have the cake we're trying to find? Hey, Sal, you're a pretty mean chef, right? Oh, yeah, he can make the cake. I lemon zester, yeah. What about it? We really need someone to bake a birthday cake pronto. Sure, I could probably take a break and whip one up. What kind of cake you guys looking for? Is Becky an upside-down blood cake surprise? Ooh, that's gonna be a tall order, Sam. Don't you know how to make it? Oh, I know how to make it, all right. Any confectioner worth his icing sack knows how to make that bad boy. It's just that the ingredients are really hard to come by. Don't worry about that. Sam and I live to hunt down obscure ingredients or similarly named alternatives. It's not just the ingredients, though. It literally takes a month to bake a new Becky an upside down blood cake surprise. If you want it tonight, you're just SOL. Sorry. Well, can you at least tell us what it looks like in case we run into it in a dark alley someplace? <laughs> I can do better than that. I'll draw you a picture. Okay, okay. Voila! Impressive! Well, I minored in chalk drawing at the Bilderberg Academy for the Culinary and Visual Arts. All right, Stack so now we buddy. have a picture you know of the cake, it, Sam. and that's what we needed to move forward. So we take this, and we don't transform into the DeSoto, we use it on the chalk drawing, which is where? Here. 
Ooh, this'll be as easy as taking cake from a baby. I think that's candy. So, look, we need to go back, teleport to Stinky's Diner, and then we transform into a cake. Activate the rhinoplasty. Happy birthday, Grandpa Stinky! Is that one upside down who's Becky and Blood Cake surprise? <laughs> the blood looks right, but let's see if it's got the surprise. Uh, oh, I use Becky and Flensing Knife, the secret ingredient the Mongols used in all their cakes. Now, do you believe me? The tasty cake. Um, 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 the beautiful knife. You do really want one in my birthday party, won't you? <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna go try this puppy out on some doggies. All right, you furry trespassers, make way for Daddy. There is only one thing I don't understand. Why does Sam call you my queen in his letter? Well, because Sam and I have been carrying on a torrid love affair for years. Is that right, hon? <laughs> oh, Meet me at the place. No, the other place. I don't know what kind of game you're playing here, Sam. But now that I've seen you and Stinky smooching, all I really want to do is climb into a bottle and wipe out a few brain cells. <laughs> you know, Sam, that whole Stinky kissing thing kind of made me wish for the sweet release of death too. I know, little buddy, but it'll be worth it if we can track Stinky to the real Mr. S who's controlling all these Sam clones. Do you still remember Stinky's cell phone number? Do I? It spells out my second favorite bodily excretion! Hmm. Game saved. So, let's look at our items. I think we're set, so we can just now call our cell phone and see what happens. There you are, Mr. S. Stinky, my queen. I would have gotten here sooner, but the old fool and his Seamus wouldn't let me leave. We've got to get rid of them once and for all. Do we have to? Killing seems so... deadly. Trust me, sweetie. It's the only way to get everything we want. Oh, baby. This is even worse! This is even worse! Okay, that's quite enough of that. <laughs> it's Droopy and Stitch! Sam and Max! What are you doing down here? We were about to ask you the same question. We were? I was gonna ask about biological compatibility issues. Alright, fine. <laughs> There's no point in denying it any longer. This is where Sal and I meet to revel in our forbidden love. Yeah, the forbidden love thing. Not where we meet to discuss getting rid of our evil grandpa stick. Ah! Right, just the forbidden love. Really? Then how do you explain that? <laughs> Whoa. Where'd those come from? Yes, master. master. Sam, what just happened? Well, on the upside, it looks like neither Stinky nor her chitinous boyfriend are the master of these Samalikes. On the downside, it appears that our icky and potentially murderous lubberbirds are under the psychic thrall of our mysterious fiend. Man, I wouldn't want to be the master when Stinky snaps out of it. She straight up hates thralls. Hmm. So it seems like everybody's getting played here. It's a box of useless junk. Or is it? No, it's pretty much useless. Let's see what's going on in their head. Uh, not with that, with the mind reading ability. Mind reading. La di da, waiting for the master's orders. La di da da. I'm not sure whether it's comforting or creepy as hell that Sal's still a good natured bohunk even when he's enthralled. Trying to read my slave's mind? How rude. 
Ow! Hmm. Is that a flashing light over there? No. Let's see what happens in the future. So I guess what's gonna happen here is we're gonna run into Junior. And I bet Junior is the person. I'm trying to watch these cutscenes, sorry. I'm sitting here not talking. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to watch these cutscenes and get every little bit of detail out of it. Looks like we can shoot the control platform, which would be a flashing light. Hmm, that platform looks like a target rich environment. Now, what should I shoot first? Shoot out the microphone, I guess. Is it moving closer? We won't closer? be able to order the clones around until we clone a body for Mama Bosco. How about we shoot out the lights? Why'd you do that? Sometimes you just gotta shoot out a few lights. Dead light bulb detected in clone control spotlight. Please alert maintenance engineer. Okay, so now when I break things, that means they'll go fix them. Ah. So we got a couple of things we could potentially break to move them around. Ah, and so he lowers the glass, which then... Show off. Now, Max, just because the good Lord didn't bless you with six arms and vice-like claws... Not yet, anyway. So now that that's clear, I can shoot the coffee mug. And that's exactly what I want to do. Shoot the control platform. While it would be fun to shoot Sal, I think the right move is the coffee mug. Hey Max, watch this. Nice shot! Thanks. It turns out the secret is aiming. <laughs> aiming. Hmm. Never heard of it. Is it a lost secret of the ancient Orient? Malfunction detected in clone control console unit. Please send technician. So we know they're both over there now. Hmm, that's the most work I've seen Stinky do in years. Yeah, she must be enthralled. Uh, was not expecting that. So are we eliminating technicians this no, way? That'd be a waste of bullets. Come on, give me the gun. Shoot the control. No, that'd be a waste of bullets. Hmm. So I can't shoot Stinky. Or the controls or the microphone. Big gun controls. I bet or not, I'll probably need that to take control of the clones. Let's see what happens here. I thought that might electrocute them. Examine the microphone. We won't be able to order the clones around until we clone a body for Mama Bosco.
So, we got rid of one of them, I guess. Let's see what happens when we break some stuff over here. Stand back, Max. Malfunction in pod zero, 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 one. Maintenance requested. Nothing there. Malfunction detected in clone status unit. Please send technician. Hmm. And it seems like we just can't call. Hmm. Zero, 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 one. Hmm. This must be where the first clone came out. Unless our mastermind counts backwards, or in base I, or is dyslexic. <laughs> Cloning facility status. Well, let's see. Do we have anything we can do? Like... I don't know. Oh, we could call Stinky Cell. If she's still got on there, then that should get us over there. Yep. You! But how? Blame your cell phone provider! It doesn't matter. Before the sunrise, the master will bathe in a sea of your entrails. You know, she may be a mesmerized slave, but she sure does sound a lot like Stinky. Let's examine the microphone. Hey, a microphone. I bet we can order around the clones with this. And welcome to the quiet storm of WSNM, bringing all the smooth sounds of yesteryear to all the rumbling doggleganger's out there. Phone control lockouts in place. Voice control unavailable. Fools. The clone controls will only respond to the master's voice. Hmm. Do we have any other clone control things? Mama Bosco said that only her hand can activate this biometric override. But I guess it couldn't hurt to try. Biometric scan rejected. Override locks in place. Here, let me try. Biometric scan rejected. Get your skanky butt off my override panel. <laughs> Let's see if we can read the mind of Stinky. Trying to read my slave's mind? How rude. Ow. Let's see if we can see our future. She's gonna be knocked out on the floor. What? How'd we end up back here? That's not what we where we should have been. Returned for another steaming serving of failure. I guess. Let's try shooting the microphone here. I better not. I'll probably need that to take control of the clones. Let's talk to Stinky. Stinky? <laughs> the master no longer wishes to speak to you through this vessel, hound beast. I think I like normal Stinky's insults better. Hmm. We can't do anything with that. What if we give this letter to her? No, I think I'll hold on to this for reasons that'll never adequately be explained. Isn't that the case? Hmm. Let's try speaking through her voice. 
Hi, my name is Stinky. Animals love me. Please kill my grandpa. Harsh, but accurate. Can't do anything there. Future vision. Hmm. I guess it's time to play follow the clones. Hmm. What's the rhinoplasty right now? The cake could make it into the car. Well, I'm pretty much bemused here. I, I don't know what the next step here is. Let's see. Let's see. Flash of light, blah, blah, blah. Giggling realm of skittering ingestion. Giggling and beset by visions of insects. Destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension. Leader eaten by a beast. Hmm. Those all do feel like they are supposed to be something, but... Just doesn't seem to all work together. What a strange elevator. And it just did go right back down. Well, we're gonna have to end it here. We've been going long enough, and I guess I'm just gonna be left with a new thought. This is interesting, too. The game is not allowing me any more save files. I, it's, I'm not out of hard drive space, I can almost guarantee you that. But it's just automatic one, two, and three. Weird. So you can't save right now. Interesting. So you can't save right now. Maybe that's why. So it lets me go to the menu, but it won't let me save. That's strange. There's a lot of strangeness with this engine. I, I can feel it. Uh, anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe. Comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.